Hey, this is Ronnie Gilboom, and I'm in Snapshot 14W27B, where they just introduced the new Rabbit mob. I'm going to use this new mob to create the best proximity detector Minecraft has ever seen before. It's amazing. Come check it out. So these guys are normally spawned bunnies. They <laughs> don't do anything except for die. <laughs> um, and they, they will run away from you. They drop new items, but that's not what we're here to do today. Today we're here to look at these guys. One out of every 1,000 bunnies that is either bred or spawns naturally will spawn as the Killer Rabbit of Kerbinog. <laughs> Not only does he have a cool name, but he's actually pretty dangerous <laughs> in that he can kill you. Pretty lethal. <laughs> One thing you might notice about him is that he can actually jump a little bit higher than all the rest of the bunnies. They'll try to attack you if you step within four meters of them, and they show that by jumping. And they can actually jump higher than any other bunny, and we are going to utilize this for something pretty cool. Now since these bunnies can jump higher, they can trip a tripwire hook that's above them. And that can be put to use. To get one of these bunnies, all you have to do is <laughs> breed them a lot, and as soon as you get one, you can breed them to get more and more and more and more. Since you need the new rabbit foot to, ma to make the new potion of leaping, you're going to need a lot of rabbits anyway, and to make the best food in the game, the new rabbit stew, which heals five hunger bars. You'll definitely run across a couple of these guys. If you do, don't just kill it, save it, because we'll be able to do some really amazing things with it. For example, <laughs> I made this one into a proximity trap. It works through walls. It works when you put it underground. It works when they're put in the ceiling. And it works when you put it in a wall. And it's so simple. It's just one of these bunnies, one of these special bunnies, the killer rabbit of Kerbinog, <laughs> two tripwire hooks, a single piece of string placed two blocks above their head, and then you just encase them in whatever you want. Now, I use this as a trigger <laughs> to make these killer bunnies even more killer using an invisible proximity trap. Now, I have this little dugout spot, but that's just so I know where it is. This design is actually capable of being flush with the ground. <laughs> and all I did was take uh, one of those underground bunnies and put it right in front and let's just test it out. <laughs> Fall to your death. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You can do that to trigger any sort of trap that you want. And it's a proximity trap, so as soon as you get within four blocks of that, it triggers. Another way to do it is <laughs> to put it in a wall. This looks like a normal little mound. Um, you could literally put this anywhere. But walk along this wall, and here, I'll, I'll change to game mode 0, so I die when I go into it. <laughs> you just fall to your death. And we'll take a look at that one. It's just as simple. It's just a killer rabbit in the wall as a proximity detector, and some pistons that pull back the floor. These pistons right here are flush with the wall, and these pistons on this side, man, that's loud. These pistons here are flush with the floor, and these pistons behind here pull away momentarily. Uh, since I've made these traps before in a different video. I'll just link it here instead of doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the falling part. But the trigger is new and it's better than my ocelots. If you'd like to see the ocelot proximity detector, it's completely undetectable and it's pretty cool. I've created a similar player detector trap before using ocelots, but it wasn't nearly as reliable, timely, or consistent. I also have a cool invention for using tamed wolves to make a completely invisible door that only opens to you. Click here to check it out. I have many more trap tutorials and inventions, as well as some really amazing faction spaces and a Let's Play series. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're notified when I come up with new ideas. Thanks so much for watching. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that like button for this video to encourage me to make more like it, and subscribe to be notified when I produce new content. My channel focuses on factions, and I have videos on my PvP Let's Play series, trap tutorials, unique inventions, and comprehensive MCMMO tutorials. If you like what you've seen, you can support my channel by sharing it with your friends. Until next time, I'll see you on factions.